Alright guys, well, um, I couldn't use the slip-on flanges on the run before and after the meter. So I had to whip up some, some welding real quick. This is a 10 inch piece that's after. And now we got our hole for our drain that we're gonna be welding up. We're gonna be cutting out the threads. Excuse the mess guys. Cutting out the threads over here and welding it up onto this OLED over here. But first we're gonna make sure we get this OLED welded. That way we can get everything leveled up or whatnot. Let's get it. I also have to cut cut out the slip on on there and take off for the weld neck and weld that out. Cause this is a, the run before the vortex meter. Now we're getting ready to fit this up. I'll show you guys how to fit it by yourself and weld it up, get a purse going and all that, get a clean weld. So we have a couple bridge stacks and we're gonna go ahead and get a perch going and start welding on it. As you can see, it's tilted this way a little bit. So I'm probably gonna have to quarter it this way first. Well, this quarter first and just keep checking level from there. Just try to keep it straight. Heat travels the way you're traveling. So if you're running this way, the heat's gonna pull everything that way or vice versa. So. Keep that in mind. So this little fucking OLED's always kick my ass. We got the roof pass in there. It's rolling on the inside. Now I gotta fill it up. So I gotta wait for it to cool off a little bit so I can cap it. So that's the way that comes out right there. Probably overkill. Too much welding in my opinion. But hey, that's the way the um, OLEDs are. We got that roof pass in there. Fused in there, boy. Time to weld that little one inch pipe, and we'll be done with this piece. All right, guys, so we're done with the OLED and the one inch pipe. Thread it. We got the Street 90 on here. I'm waiting for it to cool off. I don't want to dull out the threads in there. Um, gonna put some Teflon tape, some Teflon tape on this side and install the valve all i would need is go feel verify make sure this is correct if not make it shorter well the slip on flange on there and we'll be all set so that's our drain we're pretty much done with this piece um i went to feel verify and all we got to do is add that flange on there since we're bringing the whole piece down it's not going to be in the way of the valve, so I'm going to go ahead and fit that flange. And this is the way it looks, guys. Drain, flange, and this is the upright going up. This is where the, um, the flow meter is going to go. And then on top of the flow meter, you got that, that spool piece there. So pretty much done with this project. Gonna fit that up and weld it out. Hopefully get some mark shots and we'll call it a day.
pretty much sums it up guys it's all wrapped up ready to be installed just waiting for the plant to be shut down so we could go ahead and cut into the lines and and install this this new piping the revision i gotta build a second set of these for a second valve so pretty much done with it our shutdown is going to be in a couple weeks but you never know what might happen sooner than later so that's it guys see you guys around peace like i said on my other video guys this is not really a practical way of welding it's just for sanitary purposes but we're just trying things out um these came out pretty good it looks pretty decent in there if i could just focus we'll look at it here in a minute but i had to weld it upright that way i could set the camera on top and get some mark shots hopefully the video came out good but um as you can see from the outside this is probably how it looks on the inside you know except with the perch you know you probably got a, a really good looking color in there probably silver or something but yeah guys don't be scared to try things out looking bead i've never tried a fuse weld on x-ray to be honest with you guys it would not pass because it's too flush i wouldn't want to risk it i would rather get a gap in there and get some good penetration but it's it's completely fused it's perfect for what we need it pretty good quality weld maybe a little suck back here and there so i wouldn't trust it on x-ray i would want to see what it does what would happen so we got this piece done all I'm going to need is uh, the flange over there and a drain around this area here for the second set. So that's it guys. See you guys around. Peace.